Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and in this episode of the Automation Minute, we're going to talk about code duplication, specifically duplicating entire programs inside of Iris Logix or Studio 5000. Now here you can see I got a uh, program here, a widget machine program that controls my widget machine with several different routines in it. I wrote all of these routines um, in my Control Logics course and you know showed the students how to create them and how they worked and we download and test them online. But here today I want to show you how to duplicate this entire program so that we can control a second machine. We're going to call it the gadget machine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to start by right clicking on PO1 widget machine and doing an export program. It's down here. And I'll go ahead and export it. And now I'm going to right click on the task and input that export. Okay, now here is where I'm able to give the imported program a new name. So I'm going to go ahead and call it PO2 Gadget Machine. Okay, and now I don't have to rename any of the program tags because they're going to be unique. They're in their own program, that program scoped. So start, stop, forward, reverse, all those tags can keep the very same names. So I don't have to do any of that. I will have to change the I.O. because the gadget machine is physically wired into different inputs and outputs than the widget machine for obvious reasons. So I'll go ahead and do that after the fact. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on OK. And we'll watch the new routine be created and imported. And here you can see now I have all of those routines imported here. And they all have their own unique program tags. So now I just got to go to the Edit tab and update the physical I.O. I've aliased all these program tags to, and I'll be good to go. I've just saved myself a lot of time. I didn't have to go and manually create a program and manually recreate all those routines or copy and paste a lot of stuff. I just clicked a couple of buttons because when we design this, these, all of these routines in the course, we use program tags. It makes duplicating these programs easy and fast. And, you know, if you want to learn more about this and all these routines and what they do and how to write them and test them and set up a control logic system from scratch, check out my control logics course over at pac-basics.com. And if you'd like to help me make more free episodes of the Automation Minute, then why not become a premium member? You can support the show for as little as $3 a month. And in return, I'll give you $10 worth of free downloads every month, including downloads of the Automation Minute. And if you have any questions on anything I did in this video, the best place to ask me is over at theautomationforums.com on the post I created just for this video. And with that, that's the end of this episode of the Automation Minute. Until next time, peace.